<sighs> Protect. <laughs> you want that Van Damme ab strength, right? <sighs> you can achieve it through planks, but how to do the plank properly and how to progress into doing more variations of planks to get your Van Damme abs right away. Ah, oh, let's go. Before we even start, I want you to click the like button to support the channel. Thanks, because if you do that, you're gonna get Van Damme abs. Okay, that's stupid. First things first, most people are not doing the plank correctly. Why? Because they're not engaging their abs, they're just maintaining a position and they're do suffering without even thinking about what they're doing. Let me exemplify. Most people do it like this, with their hips dropping. It's not like they're not working their abs, but it's mostly gonna feel on the lumbar region. So on the lower back, it's where you're gonna feel it the most. So you're just enduring suffering and you can do it for three to five to 10 minutes even, but you're not working properly. So think along with me. This usually happens when I'm doing, for example, a standing press, overhead press with a barbell or dumbbells. And when I push it up, my uh, hips are going forward because I'm not using my abs properly. Because whenever I'm uh, giving in my hips to the front, my abs are not activated. Because if, if I were to think that a Van Damme would kick me in the stomach, I would be, I would tense up and my butt immediately goes in, if that's possible, a big butt like mine. <laughs> so my butt goes in and immediately my hips go backwards. So not this, but this. So this is the position where I want you to be, okay? So make sure that your spine is aligned this way. And it even throws in a little bit of a curve, a hollow position, which I'm gonna explain to you next. So what you gotta do is a hollow position when you're doing the plank. Let's do it the other way around. So belly up. If I'm here, usually I tend to give a little space in my lower back, right? Where my hands could pass through. I don't want that. I wanna tense my abs and maybe I can bend my knees. I'm gonna tense my abs and put my butt inward and I'm gonna make sure that I seal my lower back on the ground. So my head can't be here, it has to be here, okay? Now let's extend my legs and put a couple of palms from the floor and not remove, not uh, uh, take off the lower back from the floor. They're always sealed, they're glued together. That's the position I want you to be in when you're doing the plank. Last tip, the shoulders. It's not gonna be a retraction of the shoulder blades, it's gonna be a protraction. So you're gonna be to the front, you're gonna take them to the front in order to have your lats activated as well. So it's gonna be something like this. Here, maybe a palm away from each, each uh, hand. Now you're gonna protract and you're gonna tense your glutes and your abs, and this is the position I want you to be in. So make sure you're in this incredible hollow position, and you'll be sure not to be able to endure as long as you used to, because now you're finally working your abs. So keep that position very tight, and now you got a great plank. You will for sure notice that this position comes in very handy for a lot of modalities, a lot of sports. So this confers security to your spine. Instead of, for example, when you're doing the deadlift, doing something like this with an over arch, over extension, which is great for Instagram, but only Instagram. It's also great to put you in the hospital or to get you into physical therapy very quick. You can definitely see that gymnasts, for example, use this position quite a lot. For example, when they hang themselves, hang, hang themselves. Ugh. from the, the bar, obviously, like this. Mm, they put their butt in and then, mm, and this is the handstand position as well. So a lot of transfer. But then you're gonna say something like, okay, I can do it for like three, five minutes, 10 minutes even, what next? And I'm gonna say, okay, that's, that's good for you to, to work at that. You, you gotta have some muscular endurance for a lot of sports, but there are a couple of variations that you might wanna use and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a catalog for you to choose from to do it for less time, but with much more tension so that you strengthen the abs and get those, 
not Van Damme, but Willow App. <laughs> yeah, of course. So the first one will be, instead of putting your elbows in line with your shoulders, you might wanna go further with them, keeping that hollow position. Not this, but this. So this makes it really hard to endure. I can do about 30 seconds and that's it. And I get a great banging abs workout. Next, we have the walking plank. Very slowly, keeping that hollow position very tight. Lats in control. Then you have the influencer favorites, which is lifting up your leg, keeping your glutes very tight, or the other one, or even crossing one with the other. Ooh, this is tough. Ah, we call it a bird dog. You can also add some weight on it, put some weight on your back with plates and do it. Ninja Turtles. And my personal favorite, single arm. You gotta put it in front of you, right at the center, feet wide open, and then make sure that your hip is facing the ground like this. Ooh, and stay here. Ooh. This is one of the hardest to do because you wanna tilt your body sideways, but you must not allow it. You must face the floor. And then obviously you have the side planks. I'm gonna give you three variations. So the first one, very basic. Elbow in line with the shoulders, one foot on top of the other, and then point up to the ceiling and keep your hollow position. If you have a hard time doing it, the lead foot will be in front of the other to make sure that you have that neutral spine. One other way to do it is to lift and lower, lift and lower the upper leg. It will work your glutes as well. Oh, and the last one. But wait, there's more. You can use, for example, a chair, but this is gonna come in really handy, which is the Copenhagen plank. Those dudes in Copenhagen know what they're doing. So you're gonna work the adductors as well. So you're gonna put your foot on top of the chair or whatever, a bed. The other one will be close by. And when you lift up, the lower one will join the upper one. Ooh. So you're gonna work the abs, but also the adductors as well. <laughs> so this is how you get ab strength. Remember, good posture, good position, neutral spine above all else, and from then on, work on the other variations. But don't keep changing everything every time you come to the gym. Give yourself frequency enough to get better at each one of the movements, okay? Don't want it like this. You get it. Oh, and like and subscribe. Huss!